Mickey Leland was a native of Lubbock. He was educated in Houston and received a degree in pharmacy from Texas Southern University. Leland practiced pharmacy before winning his first Texas House seat in 1972. He entered the state legislature from an impoverished part of Houston as a civil rights activist with a militant reputation. During the times when I was a student there, anything that related to civil rights, anything that related to advocating the rights of poor people was by some members of the media, and of course not you, you're a bit young, but were considered to be radical. They called Dr. King radical. I was a profound advocate of Dr. King's philosophy. He wore an Afro haircut. He carried a leather shoulder bag and wore African print shirts and high-heeled boots. Okay. Mickey Leland served three terms in the state legislature, and his attire gave way to business suits. Political observers say his attire moderated as his career grew, and his political style moderated after his election to the U.S. House in 1978. He replaced Barbara Jordan in the 18th Congressional District. Representing an inner city district, Leland faced no Republican opposition in that election and only token opposition from a social workers party candidate. He won his election with 96% of the vote. Leland won re-election five times with ease. In Congress, Leland chaired the House Select Subcommittee on Hunger. He also served on the House Committee on Energy and Commerce and the Committee on Post Office and Civil Service. He was twice chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus. For the past 10 years, Leland has overseen a program in which black youths from his district were sent to Israel for six-week stays. He was honored this past April for his work in uniting Christians and Jews. Leland was one of several congressmen investigating colonias along the Mexican border, where thousands live in communities without running water, electricity, or sewage systems. He's been a frequent visitor to Cuba, the most recent with two other congressmen, to negotiate the release of political prisoners and their families. What is going on with me, too? I want to take this time to thank uh, Mika Leland, who is our illustrious state chairman. The Reverend Jesse Jackson chose Leland as one of the top four fundraisers in his presidential campaign. And Jackson praised Leland during a campaign stop in Houston for his, quote, consistent streak of humanity. Despite his political roots, Leland maintained a close relationship with the business establishment in downtown Houston, which is in his district. But he vowed that he would never forget his constituents.